What's going on guys? I am John from Mr. Winnie Productions and welcome to another Power Rangers toy hunt. Now today it's cold, it's rainy, it's freezing, it's just like pouring non-stop, but I'm going to be checking three stores like always, Walmart, Target, and Toys R Us for some more Power Rangers toys and hopefully something uh, Ninja Steel related because I know um, with Dino Supercharge ending we've been hearing about new toys coming out, I mean, especially around the holiday time which is now. So. Um, Black Friday and Thanksgiving, hopefully it's all been well, hasn't been too crazy and whatnot, so um, let's have a look around. So here at Walmart we have some legacy figures, Mighty Morphin Red Ranger, the Green Ranger, as well as other Rangers, Blue, Yellow, Ninja Storm, got some legendary Dino Chargers with In Space and uh, Lightspeed Rescue, got some 5 inch villain figures from Dino Supercharge. More legendary chargers, which are pretty cool. Dino Super Drive Blue, Plasteel Charge Megazord, the figure version, the Morpher, Kindle, some Megazords, and some Dino Cycles. And here at Target, we have the pink Dino Steel Ranger, some Dino Chargers, just like before. Villain figure and more Dino Chargers. And this is new. We have the Imaginex Pterodactyl with the pink Mighty Morphin Ranger. Gotta say, that looks really cool. And here at Toys R Us, we of course have the Samurai Mega Blade, the Dragon Sword, the Dino Super Drive Saber with the Morphin Pop. Missile Launch Morpher, same as before so far, Dino Chargers, and some Ninja Steel toys. Alright, got the Chopper with the Blue Ranger. The Chopper looks okay. The figure, not so much. We have the uh, Cyclo with the Yellow Ranger. Cyclo looks pretty cool. The figure is just awful. Got some figures which look that much more better. The Red Ranger. The White Ranger, got some cool pictures on the back, the Megazord, the other figures you can collect, we have the uh, Yellow Ranger, got the White Ranger, I don't know, I haven't checked, I just know that we have a couple of toys from Project and of course we have the uh, Pink Ranger. We have the Ninja Battle Morpher. I see they changed the name. I like Ninja Star better, but okay. Comes with the Morpher. We've got the uh, the two Ninja Stars or Shurikens. I know they got like different names, so yeah. Three in one. Morphin Battle like a Power Ranger. Another picture. I wonder how the morph's gonna look with this this new Morpher. That would be pretty cool to see. Some Dino Supercharged figures, the uh, Tall Silver Ranger, some more stuff, got the Tall Ninja Steel Red Ranger, this is uh, new. That looks pretty cool though, honestly. And we also have some uh, Ninja Power Star 2-pack with launcher. This is pretty cool. We got a three pack. We've got the uh, Deluxe Ninja Star Blade. The blade looks fine, but the packaging is just awful. I mean, look at that. I mean, is that cheap or is that cheap? I mean, it would make sense if they just put this packaging in the same as the uh, Mega Collection toys, but I don't know exactly why they didn't, but who knows. And the... Uh, the Rumble Tusk Megazord. What do I say about this? Um, visually it looks, I guess, okay. The picture on the back looks nice as well too. I just don't get why it's green though. I mean, wouldn't it make sense to have a green ranger pilot that Zord? Or like, I don't know. I mean, I know how... Well, I don't know. Maybe it'll surprise us in Ninja Steel, but it's just like... If you're going to have a green Zord, why not have a green Ranger? 
I mean, I mean, maybe it's just me overthinking things again, but yeah. We have the Ninja Steel Blue Ranger, which I found hidden. We also have some more Mighty Morphin Legacy figures. The Dino Drive Purple Ranger. The Legacy Falcon Zord. The Limited Edition Dragon Zord. The Legacy Ninja Megazord. Got some more Power Star Power Packs. The Legacy Thunder Megazord. The Mega Collection, same thing. The Legendary Ranger Power Pack, which is on sale. Also have the uh, Dino Charge Megazord, the uh, Red Ranger Hero Set, which is new from uh, Ninja Steel. Comes with one Power Star, this thing right here, the mask, the uh, tiny version of the sword, along with the cool picture. Got the uh, Dino Spike once again, and the Megamorph Deluxe Battle Station for the Red Ranger. The figure very bad the battle station interesting never seen a, a uh, toy like this before I guess this can be one of their uh, one of their ultimate finishers in ninja steel that'll be pretty cool so yep that's my toy hunt and I was successful got the ninja steel blade the morpher and all that good stuff but I am kind of bothered by one thing and that is the packaging of the assort itself you know how when I would show in my older videos, my older toy hunts about how the chargers would be missing from different packs of the Morpher and the swords, missing chargers? Well, look at the Ninja Star on this packaging here. It's actually hanging out of the packaging, so it's like nothing's protecting it aside from this, uh, whatchamacallit. And, um, when I think of Bandai, they usually make good packaging for their toys, especially if they're just coming out, so... Why would they have like a such lackluster packaging for an item that's going to sell like hotcakes? It just doesn't make any sense why they would have such a um, such a cheap packaging to such a uh, awesome item. It's just like, I don't know. I mean, I know it's a new season and whatnot, but look at that. The tape is kind of coming off. The, um, it's just, I don't know. I mean... <laughs> I don't know, it's just, I see people going crazy over this, like say for example we get a uh, bad episode or something goes not so well, someone's going to be like, ooh, Ninja Star right there, take, 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 hide in the shadows like a ninja, Booyakasha, whatever, you know, you know, team and T reference, and it's like, I don't know, I mean, I'm excited, I mean, I'm going to talk about the toys some more in future videos, but um, Bandai, have better packaging, like don't go so cheap with your stuff, <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, I support your products, like I said before, but, you know, with with packagings like this, people can go crazy, if you know what I mean. So, um, consider having better packaging for your stuff and securing your um, your toys a bit more, because, and plus, one drop, it could break, because you know how some of these American toys, they aren't exactly all that strong in quality, most of them sometimes, so, um, just wanted to get my feedback on that, and again, I'll talk about the toys more later, and um, until next time, um, go, go, Ninja Steel, and take care, my friends.